let's have a let's talk about the next medical condition which is known as a tubo ovarian abscess all right so tubo ovarian abscess i'm talking about this condition we'll be going from the definition we'll be talking about the causes of this condition we'll be talking about the possible symptoms that will be seen in patients that have this tubo ovarian abscess all right i'll be going on to talk about the diagnosis all right talk about the treatment and complications of this condition if it is left unmanaged all right so um let's quickly move we said that the tubo ovarian abscess is actually a type of abscess that forms in the female reproductive system right uh, which is typically what in the fallopian tube and the ovaries okay so tubo ovarian that's what fallopian tube and ovaries okay tubo fallopian tube ovarian ovary okay so a abscess can form in the two structures okay and the abscess collected together is okay like abscess in the two areas is what we call the tubo ovarian abscess uh it's too much at least you guys to say right so you see abscess in the um fallopian tube and abscess in the ovaries okay so this is a typical example for a tubo ovarian abscess so let's talk about the possible causes it could be that there's a pelvic inflammation right and this inflammation is basically spreading all around like that right there could be bacterial infection like from chlamydia or gonorrhea uh there could be that there was a rupture of the ovarian cyst or follicle um it could be that it's a post surgical or post procedural what complication maybe they did some surgery and then you're having some complications and all that all right then uh what are the possible symptoms of this condition uh it could lead to severe pelvic pain all right it could lead to severe pelvic pain there'll be fever chills nausea there'll be vaginal discharge all right and bleeding too okay so apart from the vaginal discharge there will also be what bleeding okay there will be abdominal tenderness and garden there will be rebound tenderness there will be dysuria what is dysuria is basically painful urination all right so that's just all for this condition talk about the diagnosis treatment and complications so diagnosis if you want that if you want to know that a tubo ovarian abscess actually exists um, how can you be able to actually get this uh, you can do a physical examination all right or you could do some imaging studies like ultrasound ct scan mri scan just to confirm all right you can also do some laboratory tests like blood work urinalysis and cervical cultures right you could do some swap from the vaginal discharge send it to the lab for culture all right to get results and basically know now what are the treatments you might want to give antibiotics to treat the infections you might want to administer some pain or uh, pain relievers and all that all right they could also do some supportive care all right they can also do some surgical drainage or removal of the abscess you could do some percutaneous drainage that's insertion of a drain through the skin all right then um, also some laparoscopic or open surgery to remove the affected tube and what ovary that's a south fingo oophorectomy right uh, if you want to do this surgery you might actually want to open the abdomen all right that's where laparoscopic actually comes through when talking about the possible complications there's inflammation of the word fallopian tube and the ovaries okay of course this is where what fertilization actually takes place so if these two structures are inflamed it can lead to what infertility and reduce what or reduce fertility all right uh, it could lead to chronic pelvic pain it could lead to ectopic pregnancy it could lead to what recurrent abscesses you can lead to general sepsis where your whole body is responding to some microorganisms and all that right so that's just all about what the tubo ovarian abscess from the definition causes symptoms diagnosis treatment and complications see you guys